Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. The Giants with four points on the board and sort of making a bit of a, a bit of a statement with the rest of the competition as well. I would have thought with this victory over Carl. They are TJ. It's amazing the injury they've had and their f- form has improved. I think they've just got uh, you know, defenders that have come in, midfielders have come in, and also some forwards and rucks. And that's where we get to Matt Flynn, who uh, obviously Finlayson and Green nine between them, an amazing yeah. return. And Hopper is having a brilliant year. But Matt, I'm really interested in your story. Uh, it's fantastic now. You're getting the opportunity at AFL level, but you're in the Giants Academy from the age of 12. So Jeez. talk us through your journey to playing AFL football and how young you were when you first picked up an AFL footy. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it's been a, a long journey with the Giants. Like you said, I've been through the academy system since I was 12 and um, my old man, he ran the Auskick Clinic back home and um, I was probably six or seven and he reckons I used to pick um, Danny Lyons and flowers at the back of the ground. I wasn't too too excited about playing footy back then, but um, the academy came along and I joined in. And from under 12s up to now, I've been with the Giants. So, yeah, it's been really exciting. Now, another hard hitting question. Um, that was a good question. But Billy was uh, trying to work out in the ad break your nickname. He reckons uh, probably in like. Yeah. Yeah, in like maybe one. Um, <laughs> but I've got a few others we've got. Gerald, um, courtesy to Devin Smith, actually. Um, Diablo, Dibbles, Dabbles. Um, we've got a few there. Oh, that, what, a lot of nicknames. Hey, you're from Narendra, which is ooh, not much out in Narendra, to be honest, but the next town is Geraldry, where oh, I'm from, down the road. The wheat silos. Yeah, well, that's Marul, which is a bit oh, further okay, up. Right, eh? But uh, <laughs> not many have come from Narendra. Have they, Flinny? <clears throat> nah, not too many. I think Zachary Williams, obviously, Carlton. He's a Narendra boy. Um, and then a few years ago, Timmy Ruffles played at uh, Fremantle. So oh. I think he played maybe 10 games and did a few knees. But, yeah, there's a couple of us, but not too many. All right, Matt. Well, thanks for your time this morning, mate. And um, no, we'll talk, oh, <laughs> we'll talk about some footy, shall Dibbles. we? And, and we, I want to talk to you around the turnaround because there's a period of time where everyone's going, what's wrong with the Giants? I'll never forget that game you played against Fremantle in Perth. and yeah, It was pretty poor. And I think from that game, there's been injuries and kids have been thrown in and it's been a brilliant couple of months of footy, Matt. Yeah, no, no doubt that um, that second game against Fremantle wasn't wasn't a very good level of football, and um, it's not something they want, we wanted to hang a hat on. So we got back to playing our role and um, to really trusting the process, and everyone's bought into that and that team first mentality. And I think we've just grown from there. You would obviously be rotating with Shane Mumford coming in and out of the side. Obviously, at training, does he get as aggressive at training as what he does out on the field? I think he's worth the training. Um, <laughs> he, can't, he, he, he can't get suspended and he doesn't have to cop up money when he hits someone off the ball. So <laughs> he's worth the training than he's on the field. So do you find even yourself that's toughened you up and, and, and obviously Briggs because of what he's serving up to you guys at training? Yeah, it's definitely um, myself and Briggsy have learned a lot of Shane over the last few years. And uh, we, I did a bit of sparring with him in the off season and I'm not sure if that toughened me up or what it did to me, but... <laughs> Um, it was definitely an experience, and um, yeah, we've learned a lot, lot off him. Just on that, then, there's been a lot of controversy around Alistair Clarkson and uh, what they do at Hawthorne. Well, what are the rules at the Giants around boxing? You know, is it headgear? Is it only body shots? What are the rules when you get in the ring? Yeah, we do a lot of body shots, um, and a couple of years ago, we wore some headgear and did a little bit sparring them, but now it's just all body shots and a lot of bag work. and. If you want to do any extra, I guess, one-on-one stuff, it's usually away from the club with a with a proper coach and you build yourself up for that. So at the club, it's just bag work and um, on the like the body shots, but nothing too serious. Uh, Matt, it can't be a Giants win without Toby Green having a massive influence. So he's kicked four, he's had 11 score involvements, 20 disposals. Is he the best player you've ever played with? Oh, I'd, I'd have to say so. He's, he's a freak, he's a special player and... Um, only he, only he could kick a snap from the boundary like that, and then load up from 60 and put it through. So, yeah, he's a different, he's a different person. We mentioned um, Mumford there with his aggression. Does, does Toby get angry? We saw a little bit last night. He's going to be in the headlines with the shot oh, with, on. on Newman after. But he's, does, does he get grumpy at training? <laughs> yeah, oh, I actually had to work, um, wear a chest pad for the first six rounds of the year because. A, um, a fist went through me chest during a drill, but uh, <laughs> no, he's, he's, a, he's a competitor. He's a competitor, and that's what we love about him. He's taken the mantle as a captain um, since Cogs went down with that injury, and he's we love the way he goes about it. He wears his heart on his sleeve, and 
leaves no stone unturned for the side. And um, he's developed so much as not only a leader, but as a player. And now he's in that top 10, top 15 players in the league. And mm. we love getting behind him. We love playing with him. And um, he can win a game with his own boots. So, yeah, his progress has been outstanding. Hey, mate, you've touched on the, the days when you were a six- and seven-year-old a, a moment ago. Um, even within your AFL journey, it's been a, it's been a laboured process, hasn't it? Uh, 2015 draft and then nearly 2,000 days to actually get to play a senior game. Um, you've obviously built up a fair degree of resilience over that period. Yeah, no doubt. It's, um, it wasn't a smooth journey the whole way. I think my first two years, I was a long way off the pace and I had Mummy there who was playing some outstanding footy in my... Uh, early early days and I didn't really think that um, AFL was going to be close or I thought it was a fair way away so it was a, a massive journey and then obviously I went through an ACL injury which um, threw another spinner in there and worked through that and built up a lot of resilience but yeah I wouldn't really change it for, for anything I think a bit of character building they call it and um, no it's been really really good for me. And have you been told just to handball every time you get it? <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. I take a mark from anywhere and I've got smalls and um, half backers and everyone loading up. To my, um, <laughs> my hit, so. Five kicks, five handballs yesterday for Matt oh, Bill. Right. So uh, he's done well. But yeah, uh, the votes yesterday, Thank you. Uh, Matt, uh, obviously Hopper is had an, having a great year. Toby Green and Finlayson, nine between them. And Taranto was tough and won plenty of the footy, TJ. All right, great stuff. Now, Matt, we spoke with Cam Guthrie a little earlier and, uh, I mean, you're talking to a bunch of pretty boring old blokes here. So uh, take us through uh, the life of a young AFL player. What do you got on for the rest of the day? Uh, no, not too much. The weather <laughs> in Sydney is not very good today, so I'll be locked up inside, I reckon, staying away from Bondi Junction and mm. where all that spicy coffee is, so um, <laughs> I reckon I'll be it's a pretty quiet day. <laughs> uh, all right then, Matt, thank you very much for that. Uh, See you in like... Thank you very much. OK, good on you, Matt. Matt uh, Flynn joining us there from the Giants. Speaks nice well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he does mm. very well, yeah. And someone who's He's really good. grasping an opportunity that mm. might not have come like, his way. I like it. They yeah, don't good. do a lot, the players, do they, on well, Sundays? I suppose they do a lot through the week, don't they? Mm. Yeah.